you know what? Appreciate yourself. Appreciate the kind of person that you are. Because when God was creating yours, you weren't there. You were not there when God was creating you. So just know that God created you specially. You are who you are. You are not me, and I am not like you. I can't force myself to be somebody else, and you cannot do the same thing. So just, you know, love yourself and know that God created you specially. You are wonderfully and fearfully made. You are unique and you are also special in your own way. Although ladies, this one is common with us. Some, they want to reduce weight. Some, they want to, you know, hard more weight or, you know, had more flesh they want to be thick just you know sometimes we are just battling with one thing or the other well guess what it doesn't work the stress even if you are trying to hard with hard weight you know you're going to get to a particular stage in your life where that you know that weight gain is not going to help if you need to do exercise exercise yourself and there are some that can be hereditary no matter even if they don't eat for two days their weight is not going to reduce i'm just using this video to encourage you know every one of us appreciate yourself if you if you need to do exercise you know to exercise it out go ahead but come on take it easy sometimes we ladies we don't you know a Maybe a part of our body, we don't like it. Some will say, oh, this side of my something is too small. They want to hard. To the extent that some will go ahead, you know, to use the artificial one. But what I'm saying is that try to love who you are. That is your self-confidence. Just love. When you love, you know, just allow that self-love. You know, from here, it flows. You just love it. You don't have to please anyone because of your body. God created you that way. There are some things that you can use, you know, maybe exercise to improve it or anyhow. Let me just give you, you know, this story. I remember when I was in um, um, college, you know, and I was selling... Um, I like to do business. So I was selling uh, this product that was then forever living product. So this lady woke up to me. I don't know that at the end, you know, she's going to be my healer. So she woke up to me. She now said, uh, I wanted to buy, you know, this particular product, you know. She wanted to know if I have it, that, you know, for the boobs, you know, to, to increase. And I was, you know, when she asked me that kind of question, if I have the product, Honestly, I was shocked. And I said, ah, oh, you are, you know, your something is okay. You are okay like this. She said, no, that she wanted to hard one. Later, you know, she now, she, I was surprised, honestly, to be sincere. I said, you know, with your shape, you know, too much of everything, it's not, you no, know, I didn't tell her that, but down with that, I was say, ah, with this shape and this, you know, this thing fits your shape, you are not too, so you're not a really thick person. So why do you get to want to get a lot of this thing? So sometimes that is how we can be. Some people, you know, beauty is in the eyes of beholder. Something that is not beautiful to you, it might be very beautiful to another person. So in, you know, when God created us, it doesn't make mistake. If you look at Genesis 10, and God, you know, look at everything he has created, and it was good. If you look at 21, the B part, you will see the same time, Genesis 1, you know, 21. The first one is Genesis 1, verse 10. The second one is Genesis 1, verse um, 21, you know, the B part part when you read it down and 
the Bible said that, and God, you know, he saw it that it was good. And if you now look at Genesis, the same Genesis 31, and God said, you know, everything he was created was very beautiful. They were beautiful. And when you look at the word very, you know, it's when, when you look at something, it says very beautiful. You can give the word very as something that is outstanding, something that is superb. And God added that very, that means he created everything, including us, very beautiful. So love the way you are and appreciate yourself. One thing is when you started loving yourself, some people won't have choice rather than to, to flow with you in that area of love. But not everyone will like you or accept you. Likewise, you yourself, not everybody you like their vibes. Some people you don't really like them. Some people, you know, some, you know, life is just like that sometimes. And um, some people can even, you know, judge you before they even miss you in person. And you know, at the end, they can just look at the way you look, you know, physical look and say, I don't like this person. And guess what? If God wants to connect both of you together, the way you guys are going to make meet, and if you now, you know, engage each other in conversation, they will not notice that, oh my goodness, he or she was the sweetest person on this set. But they have already charged you fox. Likewise, you know, you that you are watching, I mean, to one way or the other, we have charged people before meeting them. May God allow all the people that you have judged for you to meet them, and you notice that they are the sweetest person on this set. So people can, you know, they can judge you without missing you. But by the time you guys, you know, engage in, you know, conversation, they say, oh my goodness. Some people, some people can even be, you can be friends forever just like that. So likewise, life is like that. You think people will not judge you, they will judge you. That's not new. Even the person that is no more, they are still talking about them. Not to talk of you, that you are alive, you are well, you are breathing. So there's no way people will not judge you. So just be yourself. There's something that, you know, you, do, you need to change. You know that it's not good. With the help of the Holy Spirit, the Lord will help you and you'll become a better person. So love yourself. Self-love starts from yourself. You can't just eat yourself. No, you can't do that, Tony. God created you in one way. It's possible for you to see something you don't like it, but just change something that you have here. When you change here, yeah, you change it by yourself. It's going to cooperate with you. So self-love is very important. Only you love yourself, you take care of yourself. No one can be like you. If you have 10 people in the house and has them, give these people the same ingredients to cook a particular food. Guess what? By the time they finish cooking, you are going to see the uniqueness in their cooking. What you put as a third recipe inside the food, another person might put it like a fifth in the recipe when they are cooking. Some people will tell, oh, I had this one from the beginning. Some will tell, no, that will be my last recipe. And if you ask them why, they will tell you the reason why they want to add it to the last, you know, almost, they want the food to be almost done before they had it. And after, you know, they cook, maybe 10 chefs, they cook, you know, give them the same recipe that they cook. If you taste that food, honestly, it's not going to be the same thing. As you are different in shape or in size, that is how we are different when we cook the way we do something. 
even the way even let's let's not go far let's talk about the our the mother the mother let me my mother that gave back to me if you ask her to cook some the way she will cook it is different from the way i cook it unless there is something that is unique in the way she cook and i want to be cooking it that way for the rest of my life so remember love yourself love yourself is very important if you love yourself you'll be able to love others very well accept the way you are you are unique and you are beautiful just know that you are beautiful in your own way all of us can all of us cannot have a pointed nose all of us cannot have a flat nose we are our shapes are different always thank god you know when you look at yourself inside the mirror look at and say lord thank you for thank you for the way you created me specially it took its time for creating you so appreciate it and love yourself because if you don't do there's some things you know you wanted to do but you were you were you kind of scared of how people will judge you how they will take you you know the acceptance rate you don't know how it's going to be but guys, for well, do it and let it be anyhow. At the end, some people will come along. They won't, they won't have choice. They will, you know, they will flow with you, but not, not all. So this is where I will end this video. Please, thank you for all the subscribers in the house. I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. God bless you.